Are we in the middle of a crypto crisis? Is this the beginning of a larger move down or just a correction? That's what we're going to talk about in this video. I'm going to give you some insight into what is going on right this second. You need to know, you need to understand why crypto is down. The overall market down north of four plus percent continues to move down more today. Uh, we're going to take a look at Bitcoin, Ethereum and the overall market conditions, as well as look at a specific reason for what is going on. Underpinning and underlying all of it is fear and uncertainty around uh, exchanges and the movement of Bitcoin and all that kind of stuff. So crypto crisis, yes or no? For short term, yes. Long term, I don't think so. All right. So with that said, let's get into this. So as I mentioned right now, crypto moving down about 4.8 plus percent as of the recording of this video. Market cap at one trillion one hundred and thirty billion and change, and you've got Bitcoin and Ethereum moving down uh, about another two points from earlier today. Bitcoin and Ethereum were respectively down about three points. Now we're touching on those five percent range uh, down scenarios, and the largest move down in the top one hundred is obviously Pepe. Uh, Pepe moving down about thirty seven plus percent, moving uh, to the number sixty fourth position. Uh, not usually surprising. We've got a scenario playing out there. I own a bunch of Pepe. I am a fan of it as a meme, as a meme token play. Uh, a lot of volatility. It had a massive run up, and now it's kind of pulling back a little bit. But that's not real surprising. And kind of what we're seeing there, uh, as far as the the short term move down, no, not directly correlated to anything going on with Pepe. It's just a mass. We had massive candles up, and now we got a bit of a pullback. People taking profits and so forth. And I think again, some fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the overall general crypto market. And meme tokens tend to move more aggressively. To to kind of illustrate my point, if you look at Shib itself, it's down about six point four percent on the twenty four hour, whereas you've got uh, you know, Bitcoin and Ethereum respectively down about four and a half to 5% down meme tokens move a little bit uh, stronger in that regard. So kind of as to the underlying reasons of what's going on here, well, a lot of it has to do around kind of fear, uncertainty and doubt around Bitcoin and Binance. Now over the, in the last 24 hours, there was approximately 175,000 Bitcoin coins that were moved, um, having to do with Binance. Now, this piece of content says $4.4 billion worth of Bitcoin was moved to cold wallets for security as it relates to Binance. Binance has come out, has, has been talking about it and been, been maintaining that, uh, that storyline. And I don't mean that in a bad way, but that narrative as to that they, they've been basically are moving. We're aware of some of the data showing a large volume of outflows from Binance. These outflow are actually movements between Binance hot and cold wallets due to the BTC address adjustments. This has to do with the, the BTC ordinals, things of that nature. Uh, but, but regardless, a tremendously large amount of Bitcoin is being moved. Again, 175,000 coins, 4. Plus, 4. 4 plus billion dollars worth, as well as you add into this scenario um, in the last 24 hours, um, Bitcoin trading on Binance has been stopped, halted three separate times. Fear, uncertainty, doubt. That's the narrative. And when you have the largest global exchange that spooks everybody when the, the Bitcoin on uh, the trading on Bitcoin spot trading was halted three separate times. OK, and so crypto crisis, I don't really think so. I think we just got a scenario playing out here where we've got these different components at play. Short term opportunity, if you want to lock in some discounts to basically go out and pick out some of your favorite cryptos, I think you're going to see, you know, some continued uh, discounts, if you will. Uh, long term, uh, you know, I don't think this is a really a significant problem. I think this is just kind of a uh, another day in crypto. And I will tell you this: crypto is certainly not boring, <laughs> to say the least. So, no, I don't think we're in a crypto crisis. I think uh, crypto prices are moving down because of the reasons I just gave you. Uh, you got fear, uncertainty, and doubt. Meme coins are kind of leading the charge as far as percentage move down. Not real surprising. You got a lot of emotional trading going on there. People. You know, tend to who are in meme, a lot of people who are in meme coins sometimes are a little bit more inexperienced. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but they tend to address, uh, they tend to react a little bit more emotionally and kind of jump a little bit maybe sooner than they possibly need to. So, with that said, thank you for your support. If you haven't already done so, hit that drop, hit that like button, uh, drop us <laughs> subscribe button. If you're watching this on Twitter, definitely give me a follow. I'll see you. Have a good one.